you guys think you need something from this place that you've been ripping shredding yes you I look at you today is Saturday I haven't vlogged anything <laughs> oh my gosh Clara I haven't vlogged anything for a few days oh, I think we're in the 60s and I was in some kind of fundraiser today and I'm gonna go in and check on Clara hi how's it going how's the belly let me see <laughs> Oh, look at the back. Look at that. Mm. Oh, wow. There are. Oh, come on, little girl. It's a little bit more full to the touch, anyways. And I don't know if you can see the difference. Let me see the belly. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. She looks at me like, where are they? Where are those babies? Where are this baby you're talking to? This baby right here in the belly, mama. How are you, Annabelle? Are you feeling like extra feisty today or are you just, you're gonna fight the dog? All right, all right. Hi, girlfriend. You just chilling? It was such a nice day today. It's like 3.30 or something. It was such a nice day. Huh. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Annabelle. You're such a fighter. Look, here comes the little girl. Here comes the littlest girl. Ooh. I wanna fight. <laughs> wanna fight? Ah, yeah, Annabelle. Be gentle around your mom, okay? Be gentle. Just like, um. I don't think so. You guys want extra hay? You want fresh hay? Clara, you look so pregnant. I'm gonna check again. Uh, they're still there. My baby girl. I wait, my baby girl. Are you okay? You're okay. We're not fighting, right? We're not fighting with little girls. Mocha. You look super pregnant, girl. And you're not supposed to. Oh, bless you. Mocha looks pregnant. <laughs> I don't think she should be showing any signs of pregnancy. I think she's just a <laughs> big girl. Look at Annabelle. I mean, she was bred last month. <laughs> she looks like a, like a maniac, of course. Be there. Get out. Annabelle, those hooves look good. I need to bring the thermometer, but it's been today is Wednesday, so I put the seeds down on Monday. Um, of course, there's no sprouting or anything, but I was just seeing a little bird on it, so maybe next time. I'm gonna put some cardboard and check every day until they sprout. I'm gonna work on Clara's pen for a while, the kidding pen. I'm gonna clean it, sweep everything out and get new hay in. Um, they are just, um, well, she's sleeping there at night. So of course she's been peeing and pooping in there and it's, it's just her, but I'm gonna make sure I clean that. Add a little bit more baking soda and then this little girls um, and then I'm gonna add fresh straw and we're getting there out 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, Clara. It's not bedtime yet. 
Come on. Why load? Incoming. Out. Out. Oh, I love you, little bunny. I love you, boy. Hi, boys. Hi, beautiful boys. Whoa, 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 no fighting. No fighting. Now, I was asked in the comments recently, how many doughs do I want? And I guess the, the, to answer that question is, I really don't know. But what my plan is, is breed Clara, which she's almost there. She's about to have her babies. Keep one dough from Clara. If I'm lucky to get a dough. <laughs> Now Annabelle is pregnant, Mocha is hopefully pregnant, and now Annabelle I know because she would have been super super loud. And keep one from each one of them. So that means that I'm going to keep three doughs out of the pairings of Clara, Mocha, and Annabelle to the same buck, which is Rocky. Then my idea is in the fall, I'm going to breed little Taz, who is our almost seven month old buckling and the son of Annabelle and I'm gonna try to line breed him to Clara and Mocha technically I could line breed him to his mom but he is pulled and his mom is pulled so that's not that's not gonna work but I'm gonna try to breed him to Clara and Annabelle and uh, not Annabelle Mocha and so that way, I'm going to keep a dough from Clara and from Mocha. And the idea is to let those five little girls grow, see how they develop, and compare. What is good with one, what's the difference between one dad and the other, and kind of see what kind of breeding is working and which one can be improved that's five and then I'm also planning to breed the little girls in the fall uh, you know they're gonna be one year old next August the second so I'm planning to breed them at the end of September maybe even October um, and uh, for that I'm gonna use a different buck so because of that I want to keep one dough from each one of the girls. So if we're keeping up with my math, I'm gonna keep five doughs. One from Clara, one for Annabelle, one from Mocha with Rocky, one from Clara and Mocha with Taz. And now these two little girls with the new buckling I will be bringing. Or if it works out, a pairing with somebody's, somebody else's buck that I want to breed them to, then that's what we will do. So because of that, uh, I, I'm more inclined to get a buck myself. I really don't want them off the property or bringing a buck into the property. I just think that it's going to be a hassle if you don't know the animals, if you don't know what they do and stuff like that or what they like or what they're used to and it can be a big adjustment um, but I might do it I don't know so five <laughs> and then two from the little girls would be seven so seven plus the five that I already have would be twelve dollars and if I keep one more buckling it would be four boys so then I would have to reconsider if I want to keep our weather Duke or if I should just let him go to a house for a pet, which is another possibility. Uh, but I'm still not there yet, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, he might be a good companion for those that I have to separate. Like if I have to, I was thinking maybe building another pen for little bucklings when I have to separate them. And if I don't, um, uh, what's it called? Not castrate, but if I don't weather them, 
uh, because they're gonna be bucklings for somebody else then he'd be you know good company if there's only one or if there's only a couple I feel like he's not a bully he's a pretty chill goat so he might stay but I really don't know if you're asking me how many goats I'm gonna keep I don't know and I might change my mind but I would really love to keep one doe from each of the different bucks so I can make sure that I'm making the right choice and if I need to change the buck if I need to do something different then I can reevaluate and start over and sell those uh, girls that I ended up keeping now for me it's hard to get rid of any animal but I'm also trying to see what they produce and my idea is to show them, take them so they are going to be judged by somebody that really has nothing to do with my farm, doesn't know me, doesn't know anything but the, the goat itself and um, what they're looking for for the breed standard. So that is my plan. Will it work? Will I change my mind? It's very likely, but that is what I'm planning. So I hope I'm answering that question. So anyways, thank you so much for being here today. If you're new and you enjoy vlogs and you enjoy goats and you enjoy farming, please remember to subscribe before you go. Like this video so YouTube will make sure to spread the word and spread the video around for more people to find this kind of content. And leave a comment down below let me know if you're new so i can give you a welcome or we can chat about today's video whatever just leave your comments down below gardening season is about to start so i'm gonna be sharing a bunch of videos with different more organic to me anyways uh hugo culture and hotbeds and all that kind of stuff that i use for my garden and i'll show you you know from the beginning and the results so i hope you enjoy all that thank you so much for being here today and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow with a new vlog